Good evening. I'm so pleased to be a part of this evening's tribute to the Actors Fund and to the wonderful work they have been doing for the past 100 years. They've been remarkable years, full of courage and wonder, upheaval and distress, change and continuity. Tonight, as we celebrate in song and dance and laughter, the contributions that have been made by the people of the entertainment world, we will remind ourselves of some of the highlights of this century past. In 1883, when a candle was lighted for the first birthday of the Actors Fund of America, people were talking about the brand new Brooklyn Bridge and a canal that the French were starting to build across the Isthmus of Panama. Robert Louis Stevenson wrote Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Grover Cleveland was president and in the nation's capital, the Washington Monument was completed. Across the ocean, Queen Victoria celebrated her golden jubilee and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle wrote the first Sherlock Holmes. George Eastman perfected the first Kodak box camera and Tchaikovsky wrote his fifth symphony. In Paris, Gustav Eiffel built a tower. The last major conflict between US troops and the Indians was fought at the Battle of Wounded Knee, and Idaho and Wyoming joined the Union. In 1891, a man named Judson patented a device that he called a zipper, and a YMCA instructor invented a game that he called basketball. And in 1892, when the Actors Fund was 10 years old, the University of Chicago was founded and Mr. Tchaikovsky wrote the Nutcracker Suite. 